Uh, speaking of, anyway, so speaking of the uh, the uh, comedy, I think a lot of uh, the comedians, not just, uh, well, not, as we've mentioned, he wasn't really born here yet. So not that it's not big, it's, it has, hasn't actually been born yet. Pero in the other countries, and not just a comedy, but like famous people, uh, there's this cancel culture that's being, I don't know, exercised by many, like especially people, the netizens, they're trying to cancel people out from, from something that they did na they don't like and so they cancel that person. Mm, so it's like that, uh, I think the best example for me would be Louis C.K. Do you know that? Yeah, like, Louis C.K. He yeah. was like a really yeah. big comedian. He had a TV show, Netflix specials. And then he has movies too. Movies. Yeah. And then they found out that he was like, Masturbating. Masturbating <laughs> with women. <laughs> and then, I mean, not that that's a good thing. You shouldn't yeah. do that if someone doesn't want you to do it. Yeah. But that's the thing, like, he didn't even force them, right? Yeah, he asked them. Like, he asked, is it okay? And then, or did he just start doing it? I mean, he could leave, right? Yeah, but anyway, the girl the, can leave. The yeah. fact is, people found out about that. They freaked out, and then they, s what did they do? Did they cancel his show? Yeah, cancel the show. Uh, the, so that's why it's called cancel culture. Yeah, cancel culture. Uh, they cancel the show, uh, yung, uh, yung mga TV series niya. And then now, when he goes to a comedy club, parang sinasabi niya, sinasabi ng mga tao, if you're there, what about the women? Uh, ano parang, are you not sensitive about what the women think? Ganun. So, mm. it's a like very weird kind of thing na parang, where do you position yourself? Like, yes, the the man fucked up or like a lot of people fucked up do right? yeah but there's no redemption anymore that because that's seems like that's what's happening and it, even in this uh in, even in the nba it's happening so this hong kong thing hong oh kong, yeah China, right right uh of general manager of uh, nba he tweeted, tweeted something. something about the you know, they uh in support of hong kong and then now it was si china did all these things parang kinancel nila yung yung pag-air ng NBA sa, sa sa China so they NBA lost a lot of business and i think this is like the stem of uh, what cancel culture is all about parang mm -hmm. if somebody is offended what that person will do is try to ruin that person diba yun yung nangyayari instead yeah. of talking about it instead of making amends or like trying to understand why that person did it or like being just reasonable. Mm. Parang wala na yung voice of reason. It's just ah, you did something wrong. Let's cancel you. What do you think about that? Like, hmm, I think that's uh, it, parang that might be actually a little bit different, you know? Really? Because it's a uh, it's a whole country mm -hmm. versus a corporate entity. Ah, okay. In this in this particular instance. Because so the reason why that GM, the Rockets mm -hmm. GM, I think, tweeted was, mm -hmm. I guess he was saying that uh, I want to be a decent person, without mm -hmm. thinking it through. Na, uh, oh, China is a really big sponsor of the NBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I say something that's even remotely anti-China, they might like try to mess me up, right? Because yeah, uh -huh. parang billions and billions of dollars ang at stake when you're talking about China, China yeah, right? Yeah. Especially with the NBA, now they've been working so hard to yeah to, to get, get that market to get that market. And I think it's interesting because in that specific instance, even someone like LeBron James was yeah. Stop. for yeah. China, which is so weird because like the human rights um, implications of what that guy was tweeting about mm -hmm. are real. Like yeah, the, like he was condemning. Uh, the ability of uh, China to extradite extradite people from Hong Kong into China and possibly dying, mm -hmm. right? So it, to me, it's it's crazy to think about uh, LeBron. LeBron too. saying that uh, that's okay. Yeah. And why? Why is he saying that's okay? It's because of the money. Yeah. Right. So uh, billions, I mean, billions from Nike, from Nike, from or even just like the airing rights to to show the NBA or yeah. bring stuff in the NBA. Yeah, it's uh, all China. Uh, it's all connected. Um, that, for me, I think that that issue is more about corporate shilling. Mm -hmm. uh, like for example, what's that? Uh, there's that movie that's coming out 
about this Chinese girl. And then on the in the trailer, you can see a map of Asia, and then there's that nine dash line. Ito ba yung parang Pixar? Something like that, or DreamWorks. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they, they, they caught on. Yeah. Parang uh, nilagay nila yeah, yung... Yeah, nilagay nila doon yung... Na, na Philippines is part of the Philippines, China. Philippines, Vietnam. Yeah, yeah. And Indonesia din yan. I heard it was aired already. Like, napalabas na siya. Yes, napalabas like, one na. Week. And then they... And then nakita uh, ni... Sinabihan tayo ni Vietnam ba? Or something? Yeah, something like that. And then, so they pulled it after oh, that. Ah, okay. So... I mean, it's really interesting. I mean, this is the corporate side now of this whole cancel culture thing. I think what the what people are trying to say is we should have a voice in um, the only way that we can have a voice is through the way that we consume media. Yeah. Right. Because like that, like the NBA and the uh, um, the Hong Kong protests, and then the actually even Blizzard. Oh yeah, I know yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. There was also something like that. Na parang the player was suspended because I think he was a Taiwanese player, uh -huh. and he tweeted something in her in her support of uh, the Hong Kong protesters. Yeah, right. And, and then, then they uh, sure. they canceled his uh, contract with the company, and he won actually that tournament. Uh -oh. that and then he was in. Yeah, yeah. 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 So like the money that he was supposed to receive as the winner. Mm -hmm. Parang it was revoked because he said yeah. something that was uh, bad for. Yeah, I know this. Blizzard, I know this. Right? It was it was during the event, <clears throat> and then uh, nung nanalo siya, in interview siya, and the the reporter asked something about dun sa what's happening sa sa Hong Kong. Ah, so he was asked the question. He was asked the question, uh, and then he just uh, kaya kaya binalik yung uh, actually so ni reduce yung sen sentence so instead of one year suspension sa so Blizzard, it's only six months. Six months. And then binalik na yung price money sa. Ah, so he was able to receive yeah, the yeah, money that he yeah, won. He was able oh, so to it wasn't that uh, he just wanted to express his opinion. Yeah, he was Someone he was asked, asked about him. it. And and then uh, uh, nag voice siya ng opinion. Uh, and then uh, and then uh, apparently they, they didn't like uh, what he said. And yeah, because uh, yeah. Blizzard mm -hmm. is super pro China. Yeah. Because of all the money also that they invested it was, in uh, it's, China. Uh Blizzard is uh, partly owned by Tencent. Eh. Tencent. Oh, is it? Is yeah, it owned yeah. by Tencent? Oh, yeah. that's Super China then. Yeah. Kaya, they, uh, they own uh, WeChat, right? Tencent? I think so, yeah. 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 So they're, they're like the biggest gaming yeah. sa, sa... Not just gaming, like they're probably the biggest technology company in China. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they yung phone ko ngayon eh, <laughs> ROG2. Uh, is that ano Yeah, it's also by Tencent. It comes with free uh, Chinese spyware. <laughs> <laughs> so do you know what they're talking yeah, about right now? <laughs> Your phone will stop working later. Well, 